Hey, what is up, guys? Guess what? It is Smashworks. Look at that. There's a fridge in the background. Some Fit Aid, some Koyos Mental Titan. We got it all going on. That's just, I'm going to just talk about that. For the whole day, that's all I'm talking about is Fit Aid and their awesome product, Koyos Mental Titan stuff and their awesome product. It's like limitless, it makes you smarter. And what's inside my fridge? If you can guess what's in my fridge, no? Maybe there's a prize. I don't know. We're going to be talking about knee problems. So, how about we do this? So, I didn't get a chance to go over to CSA today, so I, uh, or head out to Delta, and I don't want to wait till later because I'm heading out to uh, to the gym afterwards after I get out of the office. So I figured I'd just come back into my uh, functional rehab room and my practice and do it all here instead. It's just easier. I got a gym in my office anyway. How cool is that? So we're talking about knee problems. Most knee problems. How about 95% of the knee problems? aren't knee issues at all, they're hip and ankle mobility issues, and you've heard me say this a ton of times before. And the dilemma is that everybody sees the knee as this big complicated unit, it's not, it's a simple hinge. You got the fibula that runs down the outside, you've got the tibia right down the center, right, the shin bone that guys like uh, you know Gaston or Kevin when they're throwing kicks at your head, they put a shin bone into your skull like, um, what's his name, what Conor McGregor said, right? He says, I put a shin bone in your head, that's all he does. So he's a badass hombre. No, he's a real badass hombre. So the thing with the, with the knee is, is that as it opens up and it creates that stable base for the femur to rest on, remember, you're creating, that's another horsepower transfer joint, so you are taking all the horsepower you're generating in your hips and you're driving it into the ground, but you have to drive it into the ground stable because otherwise what happens is you wind up getting this sway in your knee, which is not okay. So the knee should, like if you look at the ACL, the anterior cruciate ligament, it's gonna go like this. As you crank into that external rotation, that anterior cruciate ligament tightens up. So it's an overlapping ligament like this. It'll tighten up and cinch up, really lock down that knee. The problem is, is if the hip's not working right, remember 360 degrees. So if the hip keeps collapsing inwards, high hip, all those muscles that externally rotate, obturator, gemelli, um, the piriformis, the quadratus, uh, all those all those muscles in here that externally rotate the hip when they're weak or they're not functioning right, they have a bad motor pattern because there's an injury that happened earlier, you know, years, months, days, whatever, you're gonna have a really functional problem and the issue is your knee takes the beating because your foot has 26 bones, so it's adapting to the terrain. Your hip has 360 degrees of motion, so it's adapting really well. The most dysfunctional joint possibility is gonna be the knee because it has the least amount of mobility, except for that last bit of movement, which is that screw hole mechanism where it locks into place. So if the knee doesn't work right, you're not gonna transfer horsepower, you're gonna piss it out either the inside or the outside or the back or the front, just that simple. So when people go, I have knee pain, I can go, where? One of four places, that's it. So here's what's really cool. I'm gonna give you a knee check first, Sounds like a hockey move, huh? Knee check. Jessica Fitzgibbons right now is watching. She's gonna be like, I know what a knee check is. They suck. And if you don't know who Jessica Fitzgibbons is, you should really check that out because she's a bad ass. So a knee check is easy. My feet are straight, so I'm gonna just tell you. My feet are straight together. Say they're, my toes forward is what I mean to say. Sorry, toes forward, two hand widths apart. I'm gonna have you drop into a squat. So when you drop into the squat, if your knees peel out, great. If you drop into the squat, and you shoot your knees forward, your knees try and collapse, this is bad. That's a bad, you fail the knee, your, your hip is really weak. The external rotators of your hip, thumbs down. If your knees torque out no matter what, you're good to go. So that's an easy pass fail test, check that out. So now here I'm gonna show you three things. I'm gonna show you how to adjust the knee. So yeah, I'm giving away a big secret. So I'm gonna show you how to set the knee back on top of the meniscus so it works properly because you can fix all the mechanics around it and the tissue around it. If the knee isn't seated right, you gotta kind of clock it into place. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set that knee. You're gonna grab a, uh, honestly, you can use a piece of PVC. That's totally fine. Um, ideally, I would have you use a towel, a rolled up towel, but let's go ahead and do the PVC trick. So all you do is you take the PVC, tuck it in behind the knee. That kind of rhymes, right? Take the PVC, tuck it in behind the knee. So this is my FMS stick. So we're gonna take this, tuck it in behind the knee. So I am all the way up inside the posterior portion of the knee, the posterior aspect. So I really want you to really wrench that up in there, grab this, find that spot, and then give it a little, that little click, that sound that you just heard, that's the knee setting. Now you're done. You don't have to worry about adjusting the knee anymore. Now we have to work on mechanics. So check this out. We're gonna do two things. We're gonna open up the high hip, 
properly. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to squat to retrain that external rotation, toughen up your glutes to get them to fire properly so you externally rotate, fix your knee problem. Yeah, we're retraining your butt again, it's just that easy. So first things first, let's go like this. There. We're gonna get a band. We're gonna step into the band. You know, we're gonna bring this down because you're gonna wanna see this entire thing. There we go. All right, I know, I'm moving the camera around. What doctor? has stall mats in their office. That's pretty badass. So the band is gonna pull 45 degrees. Let's see if I can get it all the way over here. Oh, that's a heavy band. Nope, came off. Oh, what would have been funny as hell is if I would have dragged my shorts down. That would have been embarrassing. I got good legs though, so that works. So we're gonna take the foot. Band is pulling 45 degrees. You notice this is an inch and a half. It's a heavy band. Green band, green shoes, absolutely required. You're gonna roll your foot out. So the knee is at over 45 degrees. I want the knee rolled out or the foot rolled out, hand on the foot, band pulling 45 degrees, and you're just gonna take your chest and bring it towards the floor. How long do we hang out like this? Two minutes, that's number one. And then fix your way out of the band. Number two is this, we're gonna take the band, it's at knee height, this is a smaller band, it's a one inch. You can even go smaller if it's too much. We'll move this one more time. So take the band, step in. The band is pulling medial, so lateral to medial. I'm gonna go toes forward only for this, not for real squats, okay? But you be comfortable if you wanna do a real squat. This is just for training, that's CNS, motor patterning. Comfortable position, so under the shoulders, I'm gonna stand up. I'm trying to push against this band. So band is coming out, pulling lateral to medial. I'm gonna put my hands out, so basically pulling towards the inside. Screw the fancy words. And then you're just gonna drop down, push the knee out against the band, and then come back up. Push the knee out, come back up. One at a time, three sets of 10 each side. Don't forget about the other side. And that's it. That's how you fix your knee. It's really that easy, because you're fixing your hip. It's just that simple. Hey, listen, I'm Trev, Smashworks. I will check you guys out tomorrow. Bye.